Hello my friends, welcome to Stories with Tori today. You know the drill. Let's start with sign language. Get your fingers out. What's this? Hello. Lamp. Mistake. Fish. Yarn. Happy. Halloween. Trick or treat. Paint. Glue. Cat. Happy, Thanksgiving, Imagination, Llama, Christmas, Happy, New, Year, Lion, Kindness, Emergency, Valentine's, Monster, Planet, Unicorn, Narwhal, Butterfly, Frog, Easter, and last week, remember this one, was Flower. Can you tell by my hello and welcome to the library what this weird holiday might be? Look at what they're doing. If you guessed, Happy Music Day, you are correct. It is music day, which is so fun. So everybody go like this with your arm. Can you see my arm? Kind of hold it out, and it's like you're leading the music. So this is music. I have a fun little treat for you. We're going to read the oh-so-amazing book, Zin, 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 A Violin, written by Lloyd Moss and illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. But we're going to do something different today. I found this coolest thing that actually gives sound effects to the books you read. So I'm gonna put it on my and here we go. Oh, I should probably make it bigger. Now before we begin, the sound effects you hear are the instrument these are playing. Okay, so here's the first one. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low. One trombone playing solo. Do you hear it? Next a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone, no more alone, and one-o -oh and two-o, -oh, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy loops all coiled, golden yellow joins its fellows, two, now three-o, -oh, what a trio. Now a mellow friend, the cello, neck extended, bows a hello, and pin set upon the floor, it makes up a quartet, that's four. And soaring high and moving in, with zin, 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 a violin, stroking strings that come alive, now quintent, let's count them five. Flute that sends our soul a shiver, flute that slender silver sliver, a place among the set it picks to make a young sextet that six. With stilly keys that softly click, its breezy nose so darkly slick. A sleek black woody clarinet, its number seven now septet. Gleeful bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing double reading. Oboe, please don't hesitate. Come make it an octet, that's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, 
He plays low down, we're laughing soon. Here, Grumpy, get your place in line and give us a nanette, that's nine. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others then, behold a chamber group of 10. The orchestra comes in the hall. They're on the stage, we see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet, the trumpet whom we've also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready, now begin. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when we, when they bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout encore, they may come out and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night. Don't you love the sound effects? I thought that was pretty clever. Very fun that someone just created that. Very fun book. I love it that it really goes through each instrument in an orchestra. So when they play the music, you can actually hear each piece. I love that. Very fun. Okay. On to our wonders of the week. Some of you at home have told your teachers or emailed your teachers some of your wonders. Good job. Keep it up. We are getting them, so it's so fun to answer them. And speaking of wonders, we have some very interesting wonders today. The first wonder is I wonder everything. So there's a few kids that think they're so funny and being so silly and being a little bit of smart aleck. When I ask them, what do you wonder about? They say, I wonder about anything. I wonder everything. I wonder whatever. So they think that they were tricking me, but now I got them back. So here is some random wonders about everything. So all of you had thought that you were being silly and you were tricking me to jokes on you because I totally got you back. Here is wonders about everything and anything and nothing. The first silly one is the world's longest french fry is 34 inches long which is crazy so i want to see if your wonder after this wonder if that's the world's longest french fry my question was i wonder what the potato looked like right a french fry comes from a potato so if the french fry is almost three feet long i want to know what the potato looked like that's my next wonder Walt Disney started sketching regularly when he was just four years old. And they say in around this picture that he was about four years old, which is pretty cool. And I love this because he just did what he loved. And I love that. At four year olds, he just liked to draw. And how fun that he pursued a career in that. Very cool. The next random thing is there are 2,000 thunderstorms on earth every single minute which is kind of hard for us to believe here in Utah because we're such a dry deserty state so to think about there's somewhere right now 2,000 thunderstorms that's a lot of thunderstorms right the next one is the wind is silent until it blows against something which is so cool kind of like our book with the sound effects when you hear someone doing a sound effects for wind like right now make a sound effects for wind right we make the shh type of a sound the wind doesn't actually make a sound until it hits against something which that was very cool yuma arizona which is this right here gets over four thousand hours of sunshine a year making it the sunniest place on earth 
but the least sunniest place on earth is right here is in the south pole where the sun only shines 182 days which where would you rather live they both definitely have their beauty look at how cool the northern lights and the northern lights only happen when it's that cold so they both have their pros and their cons a bolt of lightning is five times hotter than the sun which is crazy I did not know that I can't imagine that is hot the moon is very hot during the day which is about 224 degrees Fahrenheit but very cold at nighttime it gets up down to negative 243 degrees so I thought that was interesting that is exactly opposite it gets 224 degrees hot but almost exact opposite of negative 243 I thought that was pretty cool Venus spins clockwise it's the only planet that does we spin counterclockwise and Venus is the only one that spins clockwise one million earths can fit inside the Sun so right here we're the third planet one million of our earths could fit inside of the Sun I can't believe how big it is only half of the dolphins brains goes to sleep when they're asleep and the other half stays awake which is crazy I thought they just never slept because they do sleep with one eye open which now makes sense which is kind of cool that they can actually sleep and take a rest but still be on alert for predators or or whatever they need to be on alert for which is kind of cool that they can shut down half of their brain kind of crazy nearly 10 percent of all cat bones are inside its tail we don't really think too much of the tail but 10 percent of their bones is actually inside of the tail NFL Super Bowl referees also get a Super Bowl ring which is really cool and I think they deserve it because I would never ever want to be a ref at a Super Bowl that would be a little terrifying so I'm glad that they get a ring golf is one of only two sports ever played on the moon in 1971 Alan Shepard hit a ball with a six iron while on the moon as part of the Apollo 14 mission the other sport was a javelin toss during the same visit which I can imagine playing golf on the moon kind of cool the nose can detect a trillion smells which is so cool right now your nose is smelling a trillion smells and recognizing it and learning new smells I think that's just pretty cool what our bodies can do okay this is from our counselor mrs. Wilson and we're doing career and college week and part of a fun college experience is the mascots so question is what is a college mascot then a mascot is a symbol adopted by a college and supposed to bring good luck so we're gonna play a game of who's the mascot here's this one I'm sure you guys have seen it who is it his name is Cosmo the Cougar and he is part of Brigham Young University right so who is this one this one was a harder one for me I wasn't 100% sure who this is his name is Brooks the Bison and he is part of the Dixie State Trailblazers you guys should know this one who is this it is Big Blue and he is part of if you can't tell on his shirt hint hint Utah State University and then the next one is who is this do you see the W that gives you a hint Waldo the Wildcat and he's part of Weber State so Waldo the Wildcat Weber State so a lot of W's I did not know who this one is who is this his name is Buster the Badger and he is for Snow College now this one see the U they all kind of do their hints his name is swoop and he is part of 
the Ute, Utah State, U, no, not Utah State, sorry, the University of Utah. Who is this? This is Willie the Wolverine, not a bear. We thought it was a bear, but it's a Wolverine. And he is for Utah Valley University. And who is this one? His name is Thor, and he is part of SUU. And last but not least, the best mascot out there. Who is this? It is Mike the Tiger, and he plays for my favorite, LSU, Louisiana State University. Okay, I hope you're having fun. Think about um, fun books that you can read, or maybe just listen to music this week. Music's amazing. It has a good effect. Good music can help us out be happy. So maybe pay attention to that this week. Hopefully you're having fun. Bye, guys. Happy reading.